Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Today's uh, topic is uh, synthesis of thiophene and uh, like uh, uh, previous topic, uh, thiophene synthesis uh, is in again an important area, but you have to justify what are the importance and uh, uh, very quickly uh, let us have a little bit of the uh, look at the importance of these categories of the compounds. Uh, do you have any idea? Can you prompt me uh, on this aspect, whether uh, why they are so important? Thiophene, where have you come across the importance of thiophene? See, um, like pyrroles, there are plenty of natural products, then polymers, etc. Furans, they are very important reactive intermediates. So, similarly, uh, I mean, so likewise, I mean, thi thiophene actually uh, do not. Um, figure in natural products. There are very few natural products which will have a thiophene nucleus. On the other hand, but they are very useful as a polymer. Uh, if you remember last time I talked about there is a polymer called PEDOT that uh, polyethylene dioxythiophene which is produced in tons and tons. And, uh, this polymer is of uh, paramount importance in the field of organic transistors, then um, organic light emitting diode, what we call OLED and, uh, and there, there are several applications actually as a conducting uh, polymers. And sometimes uh, we call organic metals, okay, these uh, polythiophenes are known as organic metals. Okay, so, that means they are pretty important. In addition, I think many of you know a large number of thiophene derivatives are uh, nice organic intermediates, organic intermediates and uh, then one of them is pretty popular solvent. Many of you probably heard of uh, a material called uh, sulfonyl, right? And this is uh, sulfo, sulfonyl, what is it used for? It is a basically an organic solvent, it is an organic solvent. Then uh, there is a molecule also uh, probably do you know of uh, which is nothing but it is known as um, uh, I think many of you know what is it? It is sulfo 3 sulfonyl and it is uh, I mean there are ways to look at it. This is uh, called uh, solid butadiene. In fact, uh, butadiene can be combined with sulfur dioxide to produce a nice solid. So, both the gases immediately react with each other and uh, forms the solid and this is this can be stored in a uh, solid form for years and years. In fact, uh, if you like to see I have a, a bottle of this a big bottle white nice powder. Okay. Uh, it is a basically a source of small scale um, preparation of um, butyrene. So, one can just you know, take this and uh, uh, heat it at around 140 degrees, so you can get the butadiene. Otherwise, you have to buy a huge big cylinders. Okay. So, in small scale one can uh, quickly generate this one and uh, what else? You, you can actually uh, for example, you can de derivatize, you can derivatize um, um, by using an LDA and then alkyl halide, you can convert this into this one. Then uh, if you heat it, uh, of course, what you will be getting? You will be getting the uh, substituted butadiene. So, that means they are very important reactive source and uh, similarly, many of you probably know uh, uh, what can be done with this thiophene. Thiophene also 
uh, is a nice uh, starting point for deal shoulder is not that popular though in thigh fin case is not very uh, like furan case it is not very popular because m most of us know the thigh fin is the most uh, aromatic uh, nucleus in this series okay but uh, what can be done very quickly in one or two steps one can uh, produce uh, one can produce a branch or long chain alkanes how do you do produce uh, not uh, yes reduction actually uh, what one can do first uh, you have to derivatize two corresponding let us say uh, you, you can produce something like this right. So, friedel cups reaction kind of things and, and it undergoes reactions at two position then you do the reduction and in, uh, you can do the reduction let us say uh, normally uh, with running nickel. So, what you can get you can get uh, uh, you can get a product uh, which would be looking like let us say uh, this uh, I know, looking like that means you will have a long chain hydrocarbon kind of compounds from this, uh, this sort of materials. Okay. So, uh, today what do you do? Uh, we will take up different synthetic methods, different synthetic methods and uh, based on normally uh, the, the starting materials and uh, so the first one uh, sometime it is once again uh, it is known as a um, uh, Paul synthesis not it is Paul nor or anything like that Paul synthesis. So, um, the name tells you and what should be the starting material right. The starting material should be uh, 1 4 diketone 1 4 diketone and then the reagents then the reagents and that would give you in one step uh, the corresponding this one. And what is the reagent the, the, the commonest reagent is I think many of you know P 2 O 5 right P 2 O 5. So, uh, P 2 O 5 oh sorry P 2 S 5 P 2 S 5 and what is the uh, so intermediates actually there is an exchange of sulfur with the oxygen. So, what you will be getting you will be getting so I mean this is assumed, but it is not isolated. Then uh, like uh, regular uh, kind of thing. Uh, so, uh, what you will be getting you will be getting uh, sort of an intermediate uh, thigh all kind of things uh, and then um, as usual for aromatizations you, you lose uh, H to S. So, you get to this one only ad advantage disadvantage with this method many of you probably do not know uh, it little drastic area too reactive area okay, P 2 F is a pretty reactive rea reagent number one number two is an inorganic material. So, the, uh, it does not tend to dissolve in organic solvent. So, so it is sort of like heterogeneous reaction and the best way to uh, circumvent this problem you have to use a sort of a hybrid kind of a reagent uh, hybrid kind of a reagent and uh, the reagent uh, which is very popular in this area is uh, I do not know how many of you know of this reagent this is known as Lavoisian uh, reagent Lavoisian reagent okay. and what is it uh, it is uh, uh, basically an organic molecule uh, then uh, coupled to it P 2 S 5 and uh, which uh, starts from any soul then uh, you will uh, link to it uh, phosphorus then this uh, again again sulfur then phosphorus again one more uh, nucleus of any soul uh, that would uh, give rise to a nice yellow crystalline solid and anybody can do it in fact. In fact, uh, we used to make it uh, on a regular basis uh, this compound this compound. Uh, it is known as a thionation uh, reagent, thionation reagent that means this reagent is very popular to convert a ketone to corresponding thione. Like say let us say you have uh, I mean um, benzophenone and you want to convert this into thionobenzophenone, thionobenzophenone or, or thioketones or benzophenone. How do you do it? P 2 is perfect all right, but this is the best way as I said is nicely soluble in organic solvent and it is manageable and it is not that reactive you know, ok. So, this is one of the best way, uh, way to uh, and then um, you can also uh, you can also uh, try with this let us say uh, bis uh, trimethyl silyl sulphide like uh, this one this is also can be useful uh, again in the presence of uh, in the presence of um, uh, P2S5. Okay. So, 
uh, just I uh, will give you just one or two more examples of this uh, um, synthesis and why it is so useful. Uh, like say, uh, if you um, start with a thiophene con containing compounds and then again a ketone and then um, the ketone has to be 1, 4 and then you, once again you have a thiophene. So, if you do I will just from now onward I will write uh, LR law of Hirschen reagent, uh, reagent and uh, so first thing what you do uh, the, if you uh, start with this and then uh, react with RBR that means it is an alkyl halide and KOH I will tell you why we need all these things and a DMSO is a solvent because you are using KOH and then uh, uh, use this I mean uh, 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 Lau Hassan reagent. So, what do you expect here? Uh, you, you can expect here that, that a again a now thiophene derivative with 3 nuclei, with 3 nuclei, and uh, then this is R here, and then uh, so what you will find here you get 3 different kinds of nuclei. Uh, why we are doing so? Because as I told you before to start with that oligothiophenes are very useful as semiconductors or uh, so conducting materials. Okay. So, this is the way one can ma make the actual same that means the Lavoisier reagent is uh, useful for thiophene containing 1,4 diketone and uh, but before you do the formation of the thiophene what you do you have done an alkylation with uh, regular KOH and DMSO to introduce an R group in the nucleus. The reason being so if you have a large uh, alkyl group I think polymer chemist would know uh, it has an advantage. What is the advantage? Have an alkyl side chain in a uh, monomer. Uh, solubility. Uh, best thing would be process. Uh, best thing people say processibility. Sorry, uh, so processibility would be the better uh, term for the in polymer chemists. Okay, so you can go on. Then let us say. <coughs> Uh, okay, I mean these are all uh, important. Uh, let us say then you uh, let us say you use acetic anhydride and um, uh, phosphoric acid. So what can we guess here? What can you guess here? Acylation. So that means you will get this acylation done uh, at two end. The uh, two ends, the middle one of course uh, you don't have any. Uh, the uh, two and five positions are blocked. So uh, one can have an acylation on the two end sides. Right. So the, you can go on uh, doing all these things, and <coughs> what next? In fact, from this onward, uh, I mean, you can uh, do manic reaction. I mean, just my, I mean, I'm just giving you an example how to uh, grow on this uh, this um, original molecule with more. Uh, thiophene nuclei. So, you, you can convert this into uh, sorry, you can convert this into uh, uh, I will just uh, very quickly write this thiophene and then this and uh, uh, you can just quickly do the manic reaction. So, uh, all of us know manic reactions would give you this in a, a homologation by one carbon right. So, similarly on this side also you will give uh, homologations of this. Now, you, from here you can generate you can generate again 1,4 diketone 1,4 diketone with uh, Michael addition with thiazolium salt that is stator reaction. Stator reactions basal thiazolium salt like the potassium uh, cyanide okay. uh, so, so when we do uh, synthesize this benzoin uh, kind of things in case of alpha beta unsaturated ketones it gives you 1,4 diketone. So then you can go on doing this and eventually get to the uh, uh, um, oli oligomers. In this example of what I was citing, uh, it has uh, produced uh, 11 mars. 11 mars means I think all of you understand, means there are total of 11 nuclei of thiophene. Okay. So, this that means this is the way that means uh, this, this is analogous to all other uh, pyrrole and furan nuclei synthesis. Only thing you have to remember the reagents. In this case, this, what is new we have learned this uh, Lavoisier reagent, reagent. The other way uh, to uh, go to this uh, thiophene system uh, is a method called uh, Hinsberg. 
Hinzberg synthesis. Hinzberg synthesis, uh, it is nothing but it is a, a pretty uh, uh, simple synthesis based on aldol type of condensation. Aldol type of condensation. If you have two ketones, one two di ketones, for example, uh, AR and AR, and so one uh, one can just uh, think about a bis acetate, thio bis acetate uh, or thio di acetate. You can say uh, if you take um, uh, <coughs> thio di acetate with the sulfur in these. So, that is what you have to remember in these cases diacetate and this reagent of course, all of you can guess what could be the reagent. Reagent could be this is a strong base and normally potassium tertiary butyl oxide uh, is used in combination with tertiary butanol and in uh, the temperature here is around uh, for 60 degree centigrade and all of you can guess what is the uh, uh, product. The product would be a thiophene here AR and AR then as a methyl here and a carboxylic acid. Little tricky though, little tricky though. Uh, you see only one has got, hydro got hydrolyzed and the other uh, is remaining intact. Uh, if you have come across uh, such things uh, are seen in a very famous reaction, very famous reaction in carbon elongation process. Uh, anybody knows this reaction? Tobe condensation. Remember, it is a reaction with what? Benzaldehyde and benzaldehyde and benzaldehyde and benzaldehyde and Right, succinates, succinates. So, you get a half ester, okay. So, there you also so a very similar reaction mechanism that you get that, okay. Uh, next thing that I think uh, from now on, what, what we will do, uh, we will uh, go by the, uh, the, uh, the sulfur containing compound that is used in the synthesis, okay. So, the, the previous one was uh, um, uh, bis acetate or thio acetate, okay, and, uh, the, and the other next one will be. The Thioglycolic acid. Thioglycolic acid means basically all of us know glycolic acid is uh, OACH2 is and thioglycolic acid uh, uh, ester is uh, okay, this one. Like, okay. And so, what you can see here sulfur, carbon, sulfur, uh, sulfur and carbon, that means one sulfur and one carbon is provided for the nucleus. And this is one of the uh, commonest uh, starting material in making these uh, thiophenes. Uh, like I uh, will give you an example here. Let us say if you have cyclohexanone and uh, one can readily convert this into uh, this compound, right? Uh, homologated compound. I will not tell you, uh, maybe I will come back and ask you the same que questions. Now, if you react with this thioglycolic acid ester, thioglycolic ester, uh, methyl thioglycolate, and in the presence of catalytic amount of sulfuric acid, sulfuric acid. So, uh, you, uh, what you expect uh, out here is little different than all other glycolic acid etcetera. Sulfur has a propensity to undergo aldol condensations, wrong or right? Normally, sulfur actually prefers to undergo conjugate additions because of the large size and so, okay. so uh, what one would expect here that means, uh, uh, alpha, beta, beta position would be attacked by sulfur, then followed by elimination of water. So, you are expecting an basically acid catalyzed condensation, acid catalyzed Michael condensation kind of thing here. So, once you have this, then uh, you can guess in the previous example what was it? It was Hinzberg method, it was had a lot of like uh, aldol condensation kind of thing. So, uh, in this case, if you use uh, sodium methoxide, so the methoxide once again methoxide means the other solvent is methanol. So, what do you expect? A kind of aldol condensation kind of thing, aldol condensation. So, you will be getting a fused uh, thiophene and of course, uh, uh, one of the uh, substituent is an ester here. So, I mean this is they are all uh, sub, somewhat like standard now. For example, I mean if you uh, just extend this for example, you can you can do an extension of these like um, that was an 
an alpha beta unsaturated uh, compound. And now you can uh, start from uh, these uh, acetylenic compound. This are in this example what I have here. Uh, in this is basically I have one more substituent on this side. Then uh, react with thioglycolate methyl thioglycolate and you do not have to uh, you do not have to do anything here by the way it is so reactive to uh, the thioglycolate is so reactive at uh, 0 degree centigrade just simply mix them uh, you can expect a Michael reaction you can, you can expect the Michael reactions with sulfur then CH2 and then uh, here is an ester here and then the whatever you had before that is the other uh, groups here, other groups uh, here. Okay. So, just a micro addition. Now, you know the uh, stage is ready now. So, you do the, the uh, um, alveol condensation between the carbon and the carbonyl of this line and that would require a base. Uh, in this particular example, the base was uh, C CGM carbonate, C CGM carbonate. So, the product would be then product would be uh, just you can uh, write th this is a thiophene unit and then you have this ester co which comes from the thioglycolic acid R and the double bond and then uh, you have the other substituents what you had here O R and O R that is the ketal substituent. So, I mean uh, the, the, this is a, a standard protocol actually this is a standard protocol if you, now if you do not want to uh, have the carboxylic acid like esters here what you have to do you have to just hydrolyze and then do the decarboxylation. Decarboxylation that is not that easy, but it requires very high temperature copper quinoline method right. Carboxylic acid copper quinoline that gives you the decarboxylation. And uh, uh, just uh, uh, to refresh your uh, memory, uh, how do you uh, convert this into the hydroxymethylene compound? Uh, uh, who can tell me quickly? this one I am talking about this conversion. This is a standard actually uh, uh, way of let me say it is alpha formoyl cyclohexanone. How do you make it? There are two ways to make. One is to just take sodium hydride and mm, well, there are other than three methods then uh, actually uh, methyl format or ethyl format. Okay. You can use then dimethyl carbonate you can use dimethyl carbonate okay that, that would give you, that would give the corresponding formal derivative or uh, actually that actually gives the corresponding ester derivative best thing would be uh, if you take dimethyl carbonate that will give the corresponding ester derivative but it is the aldehyde derivative so uh, best thing would be the uh, would be the uh, this uh, methyl for methyl format or ethyl format okay so, uh, what is the other possible uh, sulfur source? So, so, we have seen P2S5 Lavoisian reagent and then uh, uh, the thioesters, thioglycolic esters, bis acetates. Okay. What are the other possible uh, sulfur source? Sulfur with carbon is one of the cheapest. Uh, C. Good, very good. So we will look at it how it uh, is used. Uh, so that means uh, one can use. In fact, there are plenty of examples. The CH2 has been exclusive. I mean, rather not extensively been used in heterocyclic chemistry. Okay. So if you take with uh, start with uh, di, di, sorry, what is that? What is this? Malononitrile, malononitrile, and uh, take let's say potassium hydride, and uh, then carbon disulfide, carbon disulfide you do not have to actually take potassium hydride. In fact, uh, simple potassium hydroxide would I have to check I think I made a mistake somewhere here it should be even potassium hydroxide should be perfectly all right. Okay. Because dimethyl uh, acrylonitrile, malonitrile is so active. Uh, okay. so, so, what do you expect here you, you get a kind of a thioenolate kind of thing uh, thioenolate. And then uh, with the uh, equivalent amount of alkyl iodide in this case let us say methyl iodide. So, uh, one can uh, just uh, selectively uh, S methylate one of these S minus and these 
and then uh, uh, the other remains as S minus. Uh, next thing that you want, want that has been done here in this example uh, uh, use this um, chloroacetone, chloroacetone and what is expected the chloroacetone what is expected here uh, unlike those uh, 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 furan synthesis if you see recall, uh, try to recall it in the furan synthesis the reaction normally uh, goes first with uh, this aldol condensation but here is sulfur you have here sulfur has a tendency it is a softer nucleophile so actually it we to uh, displace this uh, chlorine so what you will expect then SME and then uh, one sulfur then this is the acetone part and this and then you have uh, this is cyano and this is cyano okay so this is now and of course once you have this then uh, what next under the basic condition actually this is done in basic conditions and basic conditions uh, what you are expecting you can, an ion would be formed then this cyanide would undergo the reaction okay so eventually uh, after all this tautomerization all these thing isomerization so he will be getting in this uh, sme here and aminothiophene so three aminothiophene and with acetyl side chain acetyl side chain okay so <coughs> So, what is new? I mean what is to be known here or what is to be remembered here that these cyanide groups is sufficiently reactive. Normally cyanides uh, do not uh, react with carbon nucleophile. Let us say if you have an acetonitrile, if you try to do, do with malonate kind of things, it does not undergo any reaction. Okay. Uh, uh, probably the reaction should uh, take place elsewhere. But in this case, it is a case of intermolecular reaction. So, cyanide opens up to become an amine group, and this is a very, very uh, frequently observed reaction in heterocyclic chemistry. That is, cyanide could be an important source of amino group. Okay, so, if you have uh, a requirement of amino substituted heterocycles, so you can think of cyanide as the source of nitrogen. Okay. And uh, let me okay. Next, uh, let us say uh, just uh, we are giving one more example actually from uh, how elemental sulfur. So so long we have been using the sulfur compounds, sulfur carbon compounds, and uh, now elemental sulfur also can be used um, uh, to form uh, thiophene. And this is a case. This. Uh, like uh, in, in this example, what you will see here, uh, you start from a thiophene uh, and with an alkyne side chain. Alkyne again, uh, we have seen it before, alkyne has been a very good precursor for heterocycle synthesis because of the cyclizations, okay, endocyclizations. Now, if you treat this, with uh, n butyl lithium of course at low temperature i'll just write low temperature low temperature uh, i think by now many of you know uh, what is the expected reaction expected reaction should be lithiation or lithium exchange Lith lithium halogen exchange that's a very first reaction very first reaction and that's what we would expect here so uh, you will have this lithium halogen exchange. It is a very important reaction. And uh, then, if you take elemental sulfur, elemental sulfur is um, all of you know the structure, right? Formula S8. S8. So, S8, what do you expect here? Let us say, if you have a let us say, Grignard reagent. You will treat with sulfur, what do you get? Uh, SH. SH. So, uh, initially, what would do? It, it would form S here, right? Then, then uh, this 6, right? So, basically, it will form a sulfide. Then, it, it breaks, uh, sorry, 6. So, it breaks down 
uh, to this is unstable of course, this is unstable. So, what you will be getting? You will be getting this S minus now, right? S minus and TMS, S minus and TMS. And then uh, in the previous uh, um, in few run cases, you have seen uh, this this sort of this nucleus would undergo uh, five endo uh, cyclizations, five endo cyclizations, and the uh, process of uh, workup would give you a th will give you a compound which is of course uh, would be known as thiophenothiophene, thiophenothiophene. That means uh, I mean the uh, this uh, strategy basically introductions of the lithium then converting this into corresponding sulfur minus and then and then the process of uh, basically acidic workup would desilylate and the compound to give you the corresponding thiophenol compound. And uh, so, um, what is the chemistry part? The chemistry part is that once you have a S minus that can undergo even unactivated alkynes to form the thiophene. So, I will give you one more example in uh, similar to this one. Uh, the, for example, in this case, uh, if you have um, uh, let us say thiophene, uh, thiophene uh, um, like this, and let us say in other case, the, I am writing exactly the way it, is, it was, so something like this. Now, you uh, treat this with uh, sodium sulfide and uh, aqueous methanol of course, uh, in this case little heat is requiring. What do you expect? What are the expectations? Normally, we do not see any reaction done uh, uh, with uh, alkynes with sulfur right. So, sodium sulfide, but since there is a possibility of here is a ring closure of S minus. So, uh, it would undergo reactions, it would undergo reactions uh, in the means several uh, rather. Uh, so, uh, we will get what you will get here, you will get a thiophene, uh, thiophene, and uh, so it's a uh, trinucleus thiophene. We can get, sorry in this case, you'll get this here. So that means uh, one, one, two. That means one, two, three, four. So sulfur minus would attack here, right? So that's okay. And then uh, it will again. Uh, that means there are two minuses. So it will undergo reactions with this. Uh, So, sulfur minus would uh, I think there is a mistake somewhere here. Uh, it should be a 2 5 substituted, the middle one should be 2 5 substituted, right. So, 1, 2, yes, I think it should be 2 5 substituted, 2 5 substituted thiophene. Uh, so, that means it's a basically trinuclear um, thiophene derivative would be produced. And there are other ways to uh, uh, use disulfide kind of things, disulfide. This, uh, uh, the, uh, this work has been published very recently. This was in uh, 2010, uh, Organic Letters, page number 3930. And this is very similar to the previous one. In this case, sodium sulfide was used. Sulf and, uh, in this case is a potassium sulfide in the presence of the transition metal and the procedure goes like this or the methods looks like this. It starts from a diiodo compound, starts from a diiodo compound and then you have all kinds of R, R groups. It could be 1, 2, 3, 4 all kinds of this is basically a diiodo compound. Now, since it is an sp2 connected carbon connected iodine it is not that reactive, but the source is this is instead of the sodium sulfide it is a potassium sulfide I do not know why, but uh, that does not work alone. So, what you have to do you have to use a catalyst and of course, whenever you have a copper there is a chance you need a transition metal and in this case 10 percent uh, cube plus iodide, cube plus iodide and temperature is around 140 degree centigrade and the solvent is acetonitrile and the yield is very good and the reaction is very general. So, uh, what you can go, uh, get is now you say highly tetra substituted um, thiophene. Mind it, 
getting a um, heavily substituted nucleus is very difficult. Reason being uh, first one introduction of first one is okay, second one is okay, third, fourth as you go on you give, increase the uh, steric effect. So, this, this is the reason why this sort of methods have, uh, are uh, developed, okay. but uh, apparently one would think that this method is not that very great. Reason being reagent is pretty easy, right. So, substrate. So, substrate uh, no, sub, that means the making the substrate is very difficult apparently, but uh, uh, but there are ways to out uh, way out because uh, again this is due to uh, Negesi all of you have heard the name Negesi, Negesi coupling this same Negesi uh, he has a reagent named Negesi reagent that is Cp2 and zirconium you know zirconium the place in the periodic table below below zirconium is below titanium titanium and what is it famous for actually in organic chemistry zirconium is very useful uh, uh, many a times it is used as a substitute of hydroboration reagent okay suppose you want to do a uh, select very selective hydroboration and you are unable to do so okay you can think about zirconium hydrochloride actually that was a uh, cl and hydrogen so this uh, just like hydroboating reagent it can undergo hydrozirconization okay so this is reagent now if you uh, re react with uh, the alkynes this alkynes uh, like say ethyl and ethyl alkynes uh, obviously pretty easy to make and use uh, two equivalents of butyl lithium uh, what you get is uh, not a heterocycles it is a zirconicin kind of uh, that means uh, the zirconium here then this is cyclopenta zircon zirconium zircon zirconio cyclopentaline you can say and then this is cp uh, cp and cp okay and then this one it should be uh, ethyl and ethyl and ethyl here and ethyl here okay so what next so and if you and then uh, if you use iodine iodine and cuprous chloride you can get this well defined diiodo substrate uh, iodide substrate that means pretty easy to make and this is also very easy to make that's not very difficult to make okay so that means the, there is a way out to this material And uh, we will come back to some of these uh, uh, problems for practice, but uh, let me I think I will give you one more uh, important uh, imp very important uh, way of uh, getting the monomer for the oligothiophenes and thiophenes. Uh, what I said before uh, there is a uh, monomer or E dot, E dot, E dot stands for uh, ethylene uh, dioxy ethylene dioxy thiophene ethylene dioxy thiophene what it is it is a monomer for its corresponding polymer so p dot p e dot means polyethylene and dioxy and it would look like this sorry it would look like it it would look this so how do you make this molecule so we have learned quite a bit of right so we have learned quite a bit of uh, sulfur chemistry and uh, this thing that so how do we make this this compound is again produced in tons and tons it's a conducting polymer so uh, how, how do i know okay so that means and then the, the Paul one it will give you the one sorry two five di substituted okay the other from the thioglycolic acid it will give you the carboxylic acid you have to hydrolyze you have to uh, plenty of quinolines decarboxylate all these things okay so uh, uh, thiophino okay. Okay. In this case also the P4 substitution is 
which method let us say or S8 okay no but here you have oxygen 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 okay so that means uh, that means what we have learned is not enough we have to learn a little more that is the <laughs> that's the logic i am trying to uh, bring to okay so uh, that means uh, something else is required and in this case you start with a dimethoxy biodine okay dimethoxy biodine so i think once we have defined one of the starting material which provides uh, which provides four carbon atoms so what is the other reagent that we can think of let me say reagent is little new sulfur dichloride sulfur dichloride and uh, it gives uh, straight away dimethoxy thiophene pretty easy looks good right uh, looks good and um, see here the temperature of the reaction is only 5 degree centigrade you mix them these these are such a nice one and uh, what next what is even more important many of us know that cyclization process is very facile right this is very facile when there is a possibility of cyclization uh, because it is an intermolecular reaction and if you uh, do this uh, reaction uh, with ethylene glycol in the presence of uh, paratoluene uh, sulfonic acid uh, just in uh, I mean no time you will get this compound without any problem okay just basically again a displacement the sort of addition elimination addition elimination reactions addition elimination reactions eventually get to this compound and the reaction is so powerful the reaction is so powerful in fact this uh, so this was known since 1990 around 95 or so but then uh, then what can you do uh, somebody published this uh, very similar work uh, uh, known as Michael Bendikoff in 2008, how can you extend this reaction to elsewhere? That is what you have to know. See, when you see, I have been telling about this thiophene on the, on throughout the last you know uh, 20 minutes or sorry, 40 minutes, maybe. Okay. So, but then you have to say something new. So, similarly, we are the research scholars, we are the researchers, we are the MSc students. Okay. So, what should we say? What is the, what could be the next example? That is what you have to think about. And what new chemistry you have learned? In this, for example, in this case, you have what is the new thing you have learned? It is a, a new reagent. We have never come across any reactions of sulfur dichloride, right? Uh, we have not. So, like this, okay. In the other area, let us say in the material chemistry, for example. So, what can you think about? Uh, like I know uh, Amit is doing uh, uh, thiophene chemistry. And uh, right, Saurav is doing thiophene, he is not absent, he is absent today, uh, he is also doing thiophene chemistry. But the, how can you extend your work to other areas? Guess? Okay. And he has published in JAX. Person who has followed this work, what he did? Selenium dichloride. Selenium dichloride, uh, exactly same thing he has done exactly same thing he has done, uh, but uh, then sorry selenium here okay, he has made this, he, this only thing he did not stop here, he, he developed the method for the polymerizations, methods for the polymerizations. What he did, he reacted with uh, NBS, NBS and NBS would promote bromonium ion. Yes, it supplies bromonium ion, but where does, where does it go? You have so many places. Okay. Uh, actually, it undergoes uh, uh, although bro NBS is known for benzylic bruminescence, right? but uh, you do not have a benzylic carbon here, benzylic hydrogen. So, it, uh, it undergoes uh, nuclear bruminescence, nuclear bruminescence. So, you will have something like this, something like this. Okay. So, that means a dibromocelenophen. So, now that means, uh, instead, that means our discussion was not restricted to thiophenes, also it can be selenophens. After this was pretty okay, 
but you know this this compound is unstable in fact unstable in uh, i mean but it gives uh, a very interesting compound just if you heat it around uh, 50 to 60 degrees centigrade it undergo polymerization that they want it that means polythio polycerophen they want it and of course it gives improved properties etc 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 so that is the reason why it is published in uh, jax okay so uh, we have let us say um, we have uh, talked about uh, most of the things uh, except one more important things uh, where uh, we involve elemental sulfur and the method is known as um, known as gewalt synthesis gewalt synthesis and where uh, elemental sulfur is used and these starting materials are two sorry it is uh, this is a ketone and malononitrile then uh, sulfur is used and amine uh, as a base so amine as a base so what you will see the product that is formed is an i think one can, uh, one, one can think about it uh, easily visualize it uh, in this case then you have uh, nh2 and cyano nh2 and cyano okay so again aminothiophene <coughs> aminothiophene what is to be noted that you are now deriving the amino group of the heterocycles from cyano so cyano is a good source of amine, amine okay. and what else now the elemental sulfur is incorporating elemental sulfur is incorporating this uh, sulfur of the thiophene so what is the reaction i think all of us can agree that uh, in the ketones and the diethyl malonate would give you this sorry diethyl uh, so malonitrile sorry sorry malonitrile would give something like this Novagel kind of reaction, fine. What next? How does this elemental sulfur undergo incorporation? In the previous example, if you remember, there was a lithium compound. So, lithium basically nucleophilically uh, attacked the sulfur sulfur bond, opened up the chain to make the sulfur minus, which decomposes to corresponding monosulfide. Okay. But uh, here, uh, what do you expect? Here also, a very similar thing. Uh, that was a lith um, uh, carbon minus with lithium. In this case, you do not have a carbon ion here, but you can expect a carbon ion here, right? Because it is a double bond, two cyanos are there, so allylic, uh, allylic positions could be uh, a carbon ion. So, then of course, then you have a sulfur here, and uh, so uh, you, you can think about this is Cn and this is uh, S8, probably S8 minus, S8 minus, and then. Uh, slowly uh, it would uh, decompose to this monosulfide minus and once you have a monosulfide minus then you can go on writing this I guess I think all of us can write right. So, it forms the imine uh, right and then uh, this uh, deprotonation isomerization would give you the Corresponding. This is the, the called Gewalt's uh, amino synthesis. Okay. So, <coughs> lastly, I think uh, I should uh, give you a um, uh, reaction, a very interesting reaction. Uh, this is uh, let us see whether you can uh, predict the reaction mechanism. Uh, this, this is a case of thiophthalate and um, thionothiothalide I would say. Thiothalide is uh, something like this uh, which is called thiothalide and we have worked extensively on this. We have a reagent in fact method by which we can uh, use naphthalene out of it and that method has been uh, adapted for total synthesis. That means, a thiothalide can be a nice uh, class of reagent for uh, making uh, fine chemicals other chemicals. Okay. So, that way we can increase the importance of the thiophene uh, uh, nucleus. Now, if you treat this with again uh, this well known reagent called Lavasin reagent or Lavasin reagent, 
what you get is now so thio no because it is ketone is converted to sulfur so thio no thio thiolite thio no thio thiolite so how do you what, what do you see here so what is the reagent or what is the reaction mechanism reaction mechanism that has been proposed little unlikely though it is not that straightforward so what is the first thing you think of in a such, such and this reaction happened to be pretty, pretty general you make take two more uh, i mean other aldehydes you will get similar compounds quite general reaction okay so what is the first thing you can think about first thing you can think about lavas in arrangement reagent what does it do it exchanges this right uh, is exchange ox, oh, right with sulfur here and sulfur here and of course a uh, next thing i mean so that that uh, we thought you it would give this dithyano this thio okay thiono aldehyde uh, probably you do not know thiono aldehydes are very difficult to make very difficult i mean there are very few stable thiono aldehydes okay so they are pretty unstable so then of course uh, one can visualize this right uh this one would go to this is sulfur here and is that all right i think uh, up to this uh, looks okay that means intramolecularly it forms a sort of a jupiter ion kind of thing so or you can say elite kind of thing okay uh, what next you can think of uh, to, uh, because we, this is the product right so this is the if this is the product then it has to be something like this this hydrogen uh, uh, hydrogen probably would be migrate to this one so if you uh, uh, do this hydride migration to this uh, sort of a benzylium ion benzylium uh, benzylic cations here so you can get to this compound this is the i mean tentative proposed mechanism tentatively proposed mechanism but uh, apparently it looks okay i mean uh, there is no complaint about it uh, but uh, i have only one complaint about it what is the complaint uh, can you think of any any complaint against this mechanism what is the complaint what is uh, what is rather striking about this mechanism you haven't seen before see you know, all these hydride sieves carbonium ion everything they uh, they proceed in one to manner you will never i mean only occasionally you will see very rarely you will see right one three that is quite i mean normally it actually it goes through non classical carbonium ion etc etc so so 1 2 is more favored and uh, logically expected but 1 3 maybe intramolecularly this reaction is taking place that is a possibility that is not uh, tested yet okay so um, summary time for summary thiophene nucleus uh, um, i have missed one important uh, uh, point about thiophene about natural products for example have you heard of the term called biotin who has, who has heard the name biotin raise hand okay only one mona lisa oh good okay subhendu uh, what is it huh? no you are a chemist now right when i say what is quinine is in you say is a natural product that's not enough whenever you want to um, claim yourself as a chemist then you have to tell me the structure or structural features okay mona lisa what is biotin structure okay corvi is a thiophene derivative is a thiophene derivative uh, but well it's arguable some people can some people can say it is an imidazole derivative let us say something like this then you have 
one, two, three, four, five. Lebulonic acid. There is, uh, so that's uh, that's it. So if these are hydrogens are beta, it's pretty easy to remember. But uh, you know why it is so important? That's you have to know. Uh, I can claim it as a high affine derivative, and if you look at the top portion, then you'll see that this is an imidazole derivative. But uh, well, so um, that's. Uh, and it depends on your advantage. Okay, for today's class, I think this is thiophene derivative. And um, uh, so, but uh, tell me, what is the use? Actually, it's very good. Actually, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, good uh, nutrient for human man, uh, humankind. Okay. In fact, for animal also, it is implied that animal health uh, is improved if the sufficient biotin content is there in their animal food. Okay. Uh, moreover, uh, many of people do not know if you lose hair, there is a chance, especially in lady, girls. <laughs> if you, so, uh, actually, you may uh, you may lack you know biotin content. So, you have to supplement your food with biotins. Okay, and there are many other things. For example, I mean, uh, so some people say also uh, it is good for those who are diabetic, uh, diabetic patient, diabetes patient. Okay, so, I mean, there are. Okay, so summarily, yes, okay, in uh, in summarizing the thing, okay, so so we have seen this Paul synthesis that based on this P2S5 and its derivatives that is uh, Lavoisian reagent, uh, uh, reagent. Then thioglycolic acid is one of the important right uh, reagent from where you can do. Then elemental sulfur can be uh, made use of, and then some diiodo uh, substrate, olefinic substrate with organotransition metal that can be used and the, uh, that Gewalt also synthesis that it involves the uh, elemental sulphur. Okay. What else? One more, right? Sulphur dichloride. Sulphur dichloride also uh, can uh, be used for synthesizing substituted thiophene derivative. Fine? Okay. Let us see how much you have learned. The test. Uh, uh, okay. Tell me the answer of this uh, sequence of reaction. We begin with acetophenone, POCl3, DMF. Uh, you get a substrate here. Then uh, th uh, thioglycolate, CH2. Let us say I'll put it uh, methyl ester. Of course, let us say uh, maybe trithalamine a little bit. So, you get a product B. Fine. Write down the structure of the product uh, B. Of course, you give the structure of A also. Huh? You tell me the structure. Structure of the product B. B as well as A, A and B. 